Sometimes students are scared of libraries or, or don't think that they have anything to offer, and, and they could not be more wrong. At universities, libraries are where you need to be. They offer some of the best study and academic resources around. So we sat down, we talked to a few librarians and a few students about some of the real benefits that can be found at university libraries. Many large universities have both research libraries and undergraduate libraries. When you go into an undergraduate library, you'll know that everything in there, from the resources to the people that can help you to the quiet or group spaces, are designed for you, undergraduate students. The library is not just books. We have a lot of computers that you can see here, um, and all kinds of technology that you can use in your coursework. In addition to that, we have a lot of different types of study spaces. We have group study rooms. They may have shared monitors or whiteboard walls that you can write on. Um, the libraries are a great place to meet up with friends or study alone. You can explore all the different types of spaces that are available to you. And in addition to that, we have access to all kinds of different resources electronic books and e-journals and research databases that you just don't have access to elsewhere. So Google is a wonderful tool for undergraduates to use. However, Google does not offer the type of resources that um, a library portal or a library website would offer you. Most of this is due to the fact that when you go to a library homepage and search their databases, you're looking for, at information that's already been curated on your topic, for your topic, by experts in that field. This quarter, I took a biology physiology lab. It was very tough, the teacher was very strict, and we had a giant poster project due at the end of the quarter. For that poster project, we needed a big list of references, and they had to be reputable, they had to be relevant, and they had to be current. And when you're looking through an online search web browser like Google, like Google Scholar, you simply can't find resources that can be that relevant or that accessible. However, by using a library search, I was able to find all of the resources I needed, all of the citations I needed, and I didn't even have to leave my couch. And when it came time to leave my couch and put all of the presentation pieces together, we could come back to the library, we could reserve a study spot, and hook up my laptop to the TV so we could all see my PowerPoint slide. One of the best things you can do as a student to save yourself a lot of time is to come into a library and talk to a librarian. You can ask us any kind of question at any point in your research. We can help you formulate a topic, which is one of the hardest things to do when you're doing research. We can also point you in the right direction to the, the best databases that have information on your topic. In addition, there are often subject librarians for every subject taught at the university. So if you're working on a project for a history class, you can actually talk to a history librarian. Another aspect that library websites can give you that Google cannot is they give you access behind paywalls. When you go in through a library website or use your um, university login, however your university does that process, you will automatically have access to journals that if you tried to go through Google without going through those resources, you would have to pay for. So it allows you to get behind a paywall information that you otherwise could not access through a simple Google search. Whatever your experience with libraries in the past, undergraduate libraries will become your home, your home away from home. So come here, we're a welcoming place, you're going to see your friends, classmates, this is your welcoming place. Libraries have excellent resources, including the most valuable resource of all, the librarian. Uh, so you need to be going to a library. Go talk to a librarian, as they will tell you it's never too early and it's never too late to go to the library.